Gatinho and gatinha is a good one. You can be like, tá gatinha, you look cute. Tá gatinha. Making people feel good. But only if it's true. Oi, eu sou a Gisele. Today I'm gonna teach you some Brazilian slang. Are you ready? Bah! It's something you put before a sentence when you want to kind of make something like extra. It's very from the South, actually. I'm from the South. So we say kind of bah, you know, if you just meet a friend, you're like, bah, like you, you saw that? A little extra like excitement. <laughs> then we have trilegal. Oh my God, it's like from my childhood. Trilegal is when something's extra awesome. Like it's three, is like tres. It's like three times. So it's extra, extra, extra awesome when you say, Trilegal. Viajando na maionese is one of those things that have nothing to do with mayonnaise. Viajando na maionese is like you're tripping. And the way you would use that, like you don't really say that to people you don't know. You say it to kind of your intimate people, like your friends. You're having a discussion and someone goes, hey, the world is flat. And then you're like, tá viajando na maionese? It's like that. No mayonnaise, but it's like you're tripping. Puts. Puts is like something. Puts. This broke or puts, like puts is like, maybe kind of like S-H-I. I don't know if I can say that word, <laughs> but you know what I mean? Puts is like, it's puts, look at the word. Like, look what it sounds like. It kind of is what it sounds like, really. Pia, Pia, that I haven't heard in a long time. Pia is like, um, like a boy but it's only from the south. If you go to the north of Brazil or... I don't think anywhere else in Brazil they would know what you're talking about. Pão duro, pão duro. Okay. You don't want to be called pão duro. If you're gonna really say how the word is translated, it's pão duro, means hard bread. Because pão is bread and duro is hard. But pão duro means like your tight hand, like you're not spending money on anything, like you're the type of friend who when friends go and split the bill, you try to figure out a way not to pay. So you're basically like a pão duro. You cheap. <laughs> so don't be pão duro. E aí, che? That's very from the south. So aí, che? Che is from the gaúchos. So it's kind of like, hey, what's up? How are you? You know, like, but che is kind of like, when you kind of like have intimacy with someone and che is like, the gaúcho, a very intimate way to say hi, basically. <laughs> larguei de mão, larguei de mão like I gave up. Like, you know what, it's not working out, I gave up. Larguei de mão. That's how you pronounce it. O R, o R, you know, it's a kind of hard for sometime, sometimes people to pronounce, but it's R. So, larguei de mão. Larguei de mão is, I gave up. Boiando. <laughs> Boiando is good. Boiando is like, you're not getting it, like you're like in head in space. Like boyando is like you arrive in a conversation and you have no idea, what, no clue what people are talking about and you try to like, you're like, tá boyando, like you have no clue. Tá ligado, that's the opposite of boyando. Tá ligado, tá ligado is like, you got it. Jura, mano. This is more kind of like, I would say from the center of Brazil. Jura, mano, mano is like a slang of like, dude, jura, mano. Like, Jura is like, you swear? You swear, dude? For real? <laughs> sacou? Sacou? Você sacou? Like, do you get it? You get what I'm saying? Like, if I'm having, you know, a conversation with you, like, sacou? Got it? Something like that. Tudo joia, tudo joia. Tudo joia is like, oh good, everything is good. Que beleza! Que beleza is like, Awesome. It's like, que beleza is like someone with happy, you know, is happy with whatever is going on. Your daughter is singing really awesome. <laughs> I don't know. In her recital, you're like, que beleza. Que beleza is kind of like, it's like, meu Deus, meu Deus is OMG. Moleza. Moleza is like, moleza. That's easy. Can you jump from here to there? Moleza. That's easy, easy stuff. Tá ferrado. Tá ferrado is like, you did something mischievous and now you're gonna have to deal with the consequences. So tá ferrado is like, you kind of screwed. So hopefully I don't have to say that to anyone. I hope no one is screwed. Gato e gata. Well, gato means cat. And gata means a female cat. <laughs> but we say gato and gata when someone is cute. You're like, 
you show up, you have a nice dress, you're looking cute, you know? Gata. It's, it's more like, um, like you would say, like if you're flirting with someone. Pisar na bola is something you also don't want to do. Pisar na bola means you step, literally means pisar, step, na bola, which is a ball. Like you step on the ball, like you kind of screw up. You, you know, you said you were going to do something you didn't do. You kind of let down a friend, like pisar na bola, no good. <laughs> and that's it. Yay. Now I hope you speak Portuguese fluent after this. <laughs> Just kidding. All right, thanks, and I hope you learned something. Take care, have a beautiful day. Ciao.